You welcome back to this edition. My name is Prince Victor Machi. I'm a relationship coach, and I have a question from Steven. Steven is from Cross River State, Nigeria, and well, I he asked a question about bestie. You know, bestie. Okay, some of you might be used to this word. Some of you might not be used to this word, and. Well, my assignment is to do justice to them. Bestie. This is what I want to say. There is a difference between bestie and best friends. Best friend is someone that is your friend and have graduated from just being a friend but have a knowledge of your dream, have a knowledge of your direction in life, and can represent you anywhere defending your interest and your dream that is a friend a friend is not just someone that is just your friend but someone that have understood the craft of your dream that have understand your person and can speak on your behalf anywhere about any question they want to ask about you who should give the accurate answer to when people really ask you that same question. Your best friend is someone that knows you, that knows how you respond to situation, that will know what mood you are whenever you are happy, whenever you are sad. He knows or she knows everything that works around you. Not 100% but in a progressive dimension, at least to some minimum height of knowledge. That is what a best friend is. Now, being in a relationship and having a bestie. Now, bestie in a negative dimension, which is different from bestie, is having an opposite gender of which you can help each other out with anything. Especially, it can be an exchange of money for sex, can be an exchange of, okay, sex and opportunity, but there is intercourse involved. Is either the man needs it from the lady or the lady needs it from the man. Okay? Well, in Nigeria, many people call it friends with benefit. That is another corny way of hiding the issue of bestie. Well, during my counseling, I've discovered counseling section with people, I've discovered that there are a whole lot of lesbians hiding under the word bestie. And there is a whole lot of gays in hiding under besties. So I'm here to say that you can have best friends. And if you must date, you should date your best friend. So if you are dating your best friend, then there is no room to have a bestie or a best friend outside your relationship. That's just the point that you need to embrace and understand. This is a reality because if you have friends and you are now dating somebody, your friends should know the person you are dating and you should know the friends of the person you are dating. So the friend of the girl I am dating should be my friend too. And the friend of my own friend should be the friend of the person I am dating. By so doing, if there is a need for us to hang out, we all hang out together. We all have a general outing together. So there won't be any room for secrecy or any atom of communication that will break the privacy of your relationship. It's an error for you to have a best friend that understands you more than the person you are dating. It means you shouldn't even be dating who you are dating. If another person can understand you better than who you are dating, it means you are dating the wrong person. And if another lady understands you or another man understands you better than who you are dating is is wrong your duty is to partner with someone that knows you so well remember in my clips on how to engage in a relationship i said something that you must engage in a relationship from attraction to talking mates from talking mates to friendship from friendship to dating or relationship so you must make sure this person is a friend and become best of friends. It becomes easy to date and build a marital destiny when, or marital journey, when you're actually with your best friend. So if it's possible for you to bond with somebody, 
to know you better than who you are dating. It shows that your previous relationship is not healthy. It shows your previous relationship is not healthy. And I have to say this, as a married person, don't give the permission for anybody to be closer to you than your spouse. It doesn't make any sense. Make your lover your best friend. And of course, who you should date and who you should marry should be your best friend. It's very important. Hear me. You can never love anybody above the knowledge you have about them. You can never care about anybody above the knowledge or the understanding you have about them. Okay? And hey, you must understand this. Nobody can love you below the knowledge they have about you and the understanding they have about you. So relationship works by knowledge, works by understanding. So if somebody else understands you better than who you are dating, it means the other person that knows you better have more leverage over you and can control you or have more influence over you than who you are dating. And it shouldn't be. So my advice is this. Give your partner a chance to know you. Give your partner a chance to understand you. Give your partner a chance to know how things work with you, to know your needs, to know your worries, your fears, and your doubts. This is the beginning of having a healthy relationship. This is it. There's no two ways about it. Know to having a friend that knows you better, understands you better than who you are dating. Why having a relationship with somebody that do not know you like another person knows you? So please, let me correct this mistake again. Sometimes you say, oh, we are so we are friends, we can't date, we have, we have become used to each other. Don't set yourself up. The only reason why you shouldn't date that person is because maybe he or she does not complement your dream or is not compatible with your dream and your direction in life. Aside that, if this person is compatible with your dream and your direction in life and you are saying we are we are so used to each other we are like brothers and sisters we can't date you are setting yourself up to shitting in marriage and in relationship so this is my take on this if you have any question or any comment or whatever you think about this you can hit the subscribe um, sorry <laughs> you can hit the comment section and let's get to know what's your opinion about this. Remember, the scripture is the basis. Jesus is the way, Jesus is the truth, and Jesus is the life. Hear me. Whatever you do outside the truth, I don't care your genuine excuse. It is not the truth. Thank you so much. I celebrate you. My name is Prince Victor Matthew, and I'm your relationship coach. Take care.